Okay, let's build a tiny game in the very, very simplest way that we can build a program. I want to show you that anything a program really is, is just some instructions written in text that you execute with a specific program. So let's go ahead and do that. So first, as I said, it's just text. So what I'm going to open up is a text editor. Mac, that's going to be text edit, which is just the simplest text editing program that we have. And I will press Command Shift T to just convert it to normal text. We don't want anything fancy in there, just text. And I have some code copy pasted from before that I'm just going to put in here. You will have that in the instructions as well. And for the simple version, we that's all we do. Like you see, it's not a lot of lines of code, and you just need to copy paste them for the start. We're going to learn how to write this kind of stuff throughout the course. But now I just want to show you that. Code is text, and that it can be fun. So take this, copy paste it, and now we want to save this file. I'm just going to put it up on the desktop and call it game.py. PY. PY is the file extension for Python files. So here we're telling the computer that this text that we wrote in there are Python instructions, and it sh they should be treated like that. And I'm just going to save it right on my desktop. There you go, game.py. There it is. So this is our text edit file. You can look at it, and you see it just contains the text. And what I want to do next is I want to execute it, play the game. For that, I go to my terminal, use the terminal to navigate to my desktop. OK, let's take a look what's here. You can see the game.py file is sitting there, just in the same way we see it uh, visually over here. And the last step that I need to do is run it using Python. For this, I type Python 3, and then the name of the file, game. And I can use tab to autocomplete. There we are, game.py. Press Enter. And now we're inside of the game. Guess the number between 1 and 10. Let's see how well I'll do. Start with 5. Nope, 1. Yay. OK, third try. So I got it. In this case, it was 2. If I want to run it again, uh, I can just press the up error on my keyboard. And that's going to give me back the previous command that I, that I typed. And again, I'm back in the game. And you will see it's a different number now. Or maybe it's two again. It's not <laughs> Seven, four. All right, there you go. So every time I run this game, it's going to choose a new random number between 1 and 10. And I can guess until I, until I guess the right number. Yeah, and that's it. I hope. You have fun trying out this little game and just like getting a feeling about the fact that we just we're just putting text into a file and then using a program that translates it for the computer into instructions. Mm -hmm.